Hi, my name is Matheus Almada and I play Martin in Veramar, Seashore. Hi, my name is Mauricio José and I was playing Thomas in Seashore. Hi, I'm Felipe Matzenbacher and I uh, am director and screenwriter of uh, Beira Mar Seashore. I am Marcio Rolon and I'm director and screenwriter of Beira Mar Seashore. And uh, Beira Mar is a coming of age film about uh, two longtime friends that spend a weekend uh, at a beach house and uh, start to get to know each other uh, better and to find, uh, find out things about each other that they didn't know before. So yesterday you were talking about the fact that you were rehearsing for about seven months to get into the characters and maybe you can talk from the director's point of view and the acting point of view, how you experienced that time. Okay, well we started off like on a very uh, constructing uh, process, you know, we first started off with uh, weekly meetings and uh, to discuss the characters and uh, the general ideas be, uh, behind the script, what we were aiming for the film, and uh, pretty much to create uh, w uh, between the four of us like uh, the same uh, collective uh, idea of, of the film, of the, lang of the language of acting, of narrative that we were aiming for. And uh, then we moved on to some script readings and uh, to first re rehearsing the first scenes. I think we took about uh, three or four months before bringing the other act actors to the yeah, process, yeah. right? Uh, yeah. We really stayed just the three of us for quite a long time till we felt the two boys were comfortable and were ready because uh, they were pretty much uh, first timers. M Mauricio had never acted before, Mateus had uh, a little bit of experience with a few short films and we, we didn't want to expose them uh, before we thought they, that they were ready to start sharing with more experienced actors. And, um, and then we show them the, the house, the film? Yeah, we, we, we took them to the location a few times before we actually sh uh, shoot the film. And uh, after the seven months, we felt okay, the boys are like perfectly ready, we're okay to do it. So uh, we just did it, you know? So. Yeah. And uh, we shoot the movie uh, in order? Like right, day one, day, right? scene yeah. one, yeah. day two, scene two. So uh, it was uh, easier, I think, for the guys uh, uh, to do the same emotional journey yeah. as the characters, the... yeah. Mm -hmm. For us, uh, I think this process was very cool because we could uh, build our characters uh, so since we were meeting. Then uh, all the ensayos, the rehearsals, what? rehearsals. Yeah, uh, it was very, very intense, and I think that uh, I think it helped me build my character a lot. And the process, like. Uh, Day one, send one, and day two, send two. Uh, it, uh, it was perfect because it was my first time acting, and that helped me a lot. Yeah, I agree with Mauricio. I agree with Mauricio. It's, uh, it's very good to make this, this way. We, we leave this, this journey. Yeah, I don't know what to say. We, we really leave this journey since the, the beginning to the. To the yeah. The end. To the end. Yeah. To the end. Yeah. And we had uh, our time to prepare ourselves to to act before the scenes, and that was great. Mm. So, would you say it's like a typical coming of age uh, story, or or not? I don't know. I don't know. Do you uh, put it as a typical coming of age story? I think it's it's a uh, there's a lot of things that you can find in a coming of age story because. Uh, what we uh, talk about in, in Seashore is about friendship, it's about uh, growing up, it's about, uh, I don't know, maybe you have to conflict with your family, with your sexuality, and all the things are, are really, uh, you have to face it uh, to get into the adult. Uh, yeah, and I think adolescence has uh, some uh, specific points that tend to be very common to like the vast majority of teenagers, I think. Uh, that are universal pretty much, you know, so they tend to be recurrent to, I don't know, most of stories that uh, approach this, this thing. You know, so. 
I feel like this year I've seen a lot of, well not a lot, but like two films already where you can um, really see a lot of young people or teenagers struggling with well, like finding out about their sexu sexuality. Um, but it's not so much about labeling, you know, like this is gay and this is straight and this is bisexual and this is transsexual, and, you know, like maybe 10 years ago or something. Yeah. Where now um, it's just two human beings who maybe because of s certain social norms have like, um, are hesitating to have sex or to show affections. But still, there's never really that, um, you know, that big importance of like, you know, I am gay or like that's not the center necessarily. Yeah. Do you think it's uh, it's kind of like the zeitgeist or you know, like the, the what? zeitgeist? Zeitgeist? You know, like the times? Yeah, or yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, definitely. I think um, this was, was something really important for us. I think it's uh, a, p a political statement that we make when we do a film uh, that it's, it's not so important to define the sexuality of the characters. You know, some people ask us, like, okay, but is Martin's character straight or gay? And we say, okay, does it matter? If it, if it does, then you pick, you know, it's, it's, it's your call. Because, uh, I don't know, for us, not, that's not important at all, you know. Yeah, the but is, is that, isn't that a little bit, I was thinking about that yesterday too, but isn't that a little bit too idealistic anyways, in the end? I mean, I don't, I don't know that much the Brazilian society. I don't think it's idealistic, you know, because I think probably like after this situation, uh, his uh, Marcus character will move on. You know, we just we, we don't know what's gonna happen, but uh, he will have uh, new experiences, uh, maybe towards uh, a, more, a more straight life, let's say, or more gay, or maybe he just never have the need of defining himself. You know, and that's not, not important for the story. You know, it's just like how he experienced the whole thing, and at that moment, just chose his own path, you know, started to make his own choices. Yes. For us, it was really important to uh, build a story and that we could uh, show a friend uh, coming out and uh, having the support of his friend, because yeah. uh, uh, this uh, we don't have, as you said, uh, this uh, whole uh, important thing about to not look, oh my god, they, they will hate me or something like that. It's really important for us uh, that uh, uh, I don't know, a kid can see the movie and, and think, okay, maybe it's not that uh, scary, maybe it's not that uh, big. Because uh, when we, uh, when you can see it, I think you start to, okay, maybe it's, uh, uh, it's important. You know. How how did you practice that affection? Because it's very subtle, right? Very um, indirect. Something in the beginning, you can like the gaze and uh, um, those eye exchanges and everything. But how did you practice that to you know build up that affection towards oh. the end? Um, I think the directors helped us a lot uh, before the scenes and during the scenes. It was uh, very cool, and we didn't know each other before the film. Like, uh, no. I didn't know him, they, and... <laughs> the, the seven months helps a lot too. Yes. We, we yeah, too. yeah. And when it starts, it, it just goes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think something we really worked on is like that uh, the four of us could have like a really strong chemistry and like I really feel confident and then we could kind of like, these things will be built up almost naturally throughout the process, you know, so. Uh, yeah. And of course, then you have to uh, measure like uh, the advance of the glances exchanging and like uh, the eye looking and everything throughout the film. And this was an important thing for us to shoot in order, you know. So yes. we could just like go adding up, adding up, adding up this tension between them. And, and we uh, we stay in that house during the shooting time, so it was really uh, fun and uh, always worked for us. Uh, so I think in the end of the movie, in the end of the shooting time, was really uh, a great time for us. And this chemistry it, uh, had to work because we, uh, uh, Mateus and Mauricio uh, was Martin and Tomas. All yeah, the time. sometimes yeah. when we're not when we're not shooting, we we're playing video game really. Yeah. <laughs> it was a very we're nice scene in the game. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, I love it. <laughs> yeah. Very good. Yeah. yeah. Uh, like talking about places and location too. There's, uh, I thought it was interesting to compare those two houses, the houses of the the house of the family, this like old 
maybe traditional, I don't know, like at least a little more conservative, and then this, you know, like new beach house, sort of modern, yeah. very middle class, I, I thought, the way I read it. Yeah. Um, and this like idea of family, and, and he, I don't know, like he has to deal with um, being the son of this father who did something really bad or like who was you know we don't really know what yeah. happened but there's family drama we all know what family drama is because we yeah we all, all have, have family, family dramas, you know, have, yeah. so what is what do these places represent to you like the how the houses and yeah i think uh when we uh chose uh the father's house uh, the glass and the front of the beach it's really uh, important uh, for us to uh, show this more empty place, more... Uh, yeah, more cold as well, yeah. like, and uh, square, like, there's lines everywhere and everything is more, like, stiff. Yeah, and uh, for Martin, it's uh, more difficult to grow up there because we don't have your space to and your connection to to t touch with other people. But in the, the other uh, house, um, the... Uh, grandma's house and, uh, and grandfather's house. Was, uh, there's more color, there's more, I don't know, mixing, uh, designing. The, yeah, and elements, and like everything seems to be a little bit more, yeah, alive, even though they're going through a hard time. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And uh, uh, actually, there's a really uh, nearby uh, neighborhood. Yeah. And uh, this is Brazil. Uh, you can find a house that uh, that uh, Martin's father and yes. But what does that say? I mean, I don't know so much about Brazilian society, but I I, I can imagine there are still you know gaps like in terms of class. And, yeah, yeah, and, definitely. You know, definitely. Like it's clashing, and people maybe experience like social mobility and. I guess within that generation, the father maybe is some successful, yeah. or they have money or whatever, or more compared to the to his own mother. And is that like a topic within generations sometimes, or a topic in generations? Like within generations, like this um, class mobility and like people live in different houses, or like as a. Do you know I, what I mean? I don't know. I don't know. Because no, just like the difference of um, you know that that father. Who, who separated from his own family, I guess, okay. in a way. And I was just like wondering what happened. You know, what's, what is, what happened that they are like so separate from each other now? Uh, I don't know. Do I go into the father's story? Like, uh, do you understand the question? Uh, well, pretty much we created like a, all this background, the past story of what was going on uh, with the family and everything. And uh, we chose by a personal choice to kind of like uh, take, uh, not to be so clear with the, those yeah. things in the film. Because we really want the viewer to kind of discover what one character uh, discovers from the other one, you know. So uh, they never really have a clear idea of what's going on with the other one, but uh, still they support each other, you know, because of their friendship. So for us, pretty much, what is interesting is like to, to just reveal as much as um, Martin uh, finds out about the Tomas' se uh, sexuality, and uh, Tomas uh, finds out about Martin's issues with his family and his dad, and uh, Tomas never really uh, fully understand what Martin is going to do there and uh, well, what is uh, his relation with his father and everything. But it's still their friends and he supports uh, the friend, you know. And the same thing uh, on the other direction. So that's pretty much how much you wanted to reveal in the film. So pretty much the viewer is like a, a third friend, you know, who is there in this journey. And uh, he kind of gets what's going on, even though he's not completely sure, things are not extremely clear, but uh, okay, he's there, he understands the situation, and he supports the two boys, you know, yeah. their decisions and their emotional states. So. During the script, we think about it, uh, what's affection for us? Yeah. Uh, and uh, is affection uh, to know everything about a person or pass some time with this person? And I think uh, spend some time with a person is a really important thing. Yeah. Uh, is, is, is it that you can find affection? Yeah, and that, that's what the viewer does in the film, you know. Yeah. He does spend like a weekend with his two boys in an isolated beach in a, And I don't know, but uh, I really like to think that at the end of the film you create affection for these two characters, you know, and you hope everything will turn out, uh, turn out fine. So, mm -hmm. so how, what is it inspired by? Yeah. 
It is inspired by our memories of uh, teenagehood, mine and Felipe's. When we met in film school, we were in our early 20s and we started talking about, about our teenage years and uh, we realized we had like very similar adolescences, you know, like uh, we grew up going to that same beach, you know, and but we never met each other during right, the time. For, for vacation or yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah, generally, yeah. But because uh, it's very close to our city, it's like the capital of the state, Porto Alegre. And, uh, but we never met each other during the time. And uh, pretty much when we were 18 years old, like the characters, we, we shared the same uh, fears, the same desires, you know, that, that I think are very common for uh, teenage boys at that age, and especially like if you're uh, coming out or you're confused about your sexuality, like we were in that time. And then uh, we pretty much, we built up one character based on uh, my memories, one character built, built on Felipe's memories, and our idea for the script was to confront these two memories in this age previously of the one we actually met, you know, yes. so it's kind of like... But how does it feel now being older, looking back on that time? Uh, for for uh, us, it was really important to uh, make this film when we uh, were young. We're yeah. still young, so, but, but uh, we uh, more But young. not 17 anymore. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, and because uh, we don't... Uh, we have this fear to get so distant of the know. character. Yeah. So we, we have this... Uh, we really wanted to be able to speak more directly to those things, you know, yeah. and not to look back so nostalgic and so mm. far away, the idealistic of the, uh, of the whole thing. So. But would you change something? Or do, do you think now, like, you, you wish it would have acted differently, or...? Uh, I think, we'll, uh, looking back, we will always change uh, things, because we will always uh, have different minds and different views of uh, filmmaking, I think. But uh, we're happy with what we did at that time, you know, so... Uh, of course, I think every year, if I'm going to redo the film, I, I would do it uh, completely different. Not completely different, but uh, with some difference, because I will be a different person, you know, so. And what role does the C play? What does it represent to you? The C, yes. The oh, uh, for us, the C is uh, about uh, growing up. It's uh, like the adulthood. Uh, and the, you have to face it, you have to dive in it. Uh, but sometimes you, you can uh, not get in, into it. Yeah, you can try to stay away at least for a while you know but yeah you can't but you always uh, will be uh, hearing the call and yes yes but and it's like one day you have to we yeah. really, really like this idea of placing these two confused kids in this glass house and in front of something that was like a giant and scary and uh, that they knew that eventually they would have to get out of their homes, cross the street and face it, you know, and uh, they could try to avoid it and as, as much as possible, but uh, eventually it would have to, have to happen. You know, so. yeah, it's hard, but you can uh, handle it if you have a friend of on your yeah. side. So. It's easier at yeah. least not to handle. <laughs> Yeah. Do you think it's, it was a good way of kind of like getting into the roles, like rehearsing that long? Because usually, maybe in the future, you won't have that much time. It's seven months is really yeah. Yeah. a yeah. long, long, long time. Do you, do you think it was, did it help you a lot? Uh, uh, it helped a lot to stay for so long and so Oh, yeah, certainly. It was, uh, it was very important because, as I said before, we didn't know each other. And to build our character, it, it is very important to, to know what to do and know the character. Because before, uh, after that, I know Thomas. You know? So I know how to act like him and I know what to say about Thomas. And, you know. what, did you, what did you like learn as actors? Like what? Like what technical things? Maybe did you learn as actors? Oh, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, gonna answer in Portuguese, okay? Isso mesmo que ele perguntou antes, esses sete meses, tecnicamente também foi muito bom porque a gente pegou o texto muito bem, a gente se apropriou muito de de ações e de texto para poder depois conseguir improvisar e estar tá tranquilo, isso aí é automático e a gente conseguia. Yeah, but they were saying pretty much like that uh, this process of seven months gave them the confidence to build like a really solid base, you know, uh, on the characters and on, on their acting. So once we're on set, they could like uh, 
to uh, more confident and free to kind of improvise and to experiment uh, yeah, different like, things. It's like the, the, the text. The, the, yeah, the script. Yeah. The script is it's automatic, and, yeah. and you and you have your line. Yeah. Yeah, and you put some things. Uh, you understand? I totally know. No. So you're like <laughs> in your reality, like you managed yeah. to create yeah. your own reality. And in this process, we we have space to we had space to. Uh, Provides a, lo a lot. Yeah. Uh, sometimes uh, we had in the script like uh, one line saying the guys uh, play uh, are playing in a park, and then, a, and then you leave it to the moments. Yeah, yeah. we kind of like then. Yeah, and we spend uh, one two uh, days shooting this uh, yeah. one line of the script. So it's really nice for us because we have a lot of to add in, in this process. Cool, thank you so much. Oh, enjoy enjoy you. the rest of the. You have more screenings. Go. Yeah, yeah, we have four more. We have uh, we, we had the, the premiere uh, last night, and we have uh, three screenings more in Forum mm -hmm. and one in a cross section with Generations. Oh, exactly. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. So we're, we're really anxious to. Yeah, to a total different audience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's yeah. going to be interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good luck. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.